what's up y'all it's your boy new money and we're gonna talk about uh not music but we're gonna talk about boxes y'all know i'm in a box okay now in this video we're gonna talk about jared anderson big baby and we're gonna talk about who seen us and we're gonna talk about um all access and my thoughts on that Before I start the video, uh, why don't you guys go ahead and you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, you know what I'm saying, show love to the channel, subscribe if you're feeling me, you know what I'm saying, hit that bell icon so you can be informed the next time I upload a video, okay, and on that, let's go get into this video, now, I know everybody's seen the fight. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe everybody's seen the fight, but I know a lot of people saw the fight between Jared Anderson and uh, Prince Charles Martin. Um, much like everybody else, I expected Big Baby Miller to do impressive things in that fight. Um, I expected him to stop. Charles Martin. I had Big Baby Miller stopping Charles Martin because um, I thought that he had a, um, gotten enough experience to make that leap. You know what I mean? But what I've learned about Jared Anderson in his last fight with uh, Charles Martin is that he is not ready yet. He's not ready yet uh, for the elite competition. Uh, but he will get there. The man is only 23 years old, and he's fighting heavyweight. Everybody is not like a Mike Tyson. Everybody is not like, you know, Ali or nobody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be like them, you know, coming out the gate, you know. Just gifted and crafty fighter. But um, I have to say, I'm not ready to say that, you know, Put and Jared Anderson in the overhyped box that everybody's trying to put him in, and he's a overhyped fighter. But he's not an overhyped fighter. He just has some more growing to do. He has some more maturing to do, and uh, experience only gonna get him there. And I think that that fight with Charles Martin is gonna be pretty good experience for uh, Big Baby Jared Miller. I mean Jared Anderson, I'm fault, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna have to fight likes of somebody else like a uh, big baby Jerry Miller, you know, or you know, he did have to fight uh, some other guys, some other guys, you know, uh, look like Louis King Kong T is on the down line. He might need to fight him. Um, he needs to fight Daniel Dubois and, you know, um, other guys, you know what I'm saying, on his level. You know what I'm saying? They need to take him a level up. He can level up on saying before we can find we can find out if he's learning anything you know watch him in those fights to see what kind of growth we see you know what i'm saying before we put him in there with somebody that likes a wilder or tyson fury you know maybe even anthony joshua you know i have a feeling he could beat anthony joshua you know but um again before um I put him in a box of over hype. I'm just going to put him in a spot where he just has to do a little bit more maturing. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit more experience. And uh, he will be a heavyweight champion. Just some of the fundamental things he forgot to do was you know, his defense. You know what I'm saying? His defense to me, it just a little work because he opens himself up. And when he opens himself up, he, he opens himself to problems with defense. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I think Jared Anderson is going to be all right. As long as he continue to grow, as long as he let this be a setback to him. And he's, he put the, you know, the mental, his mental, get his mental together, focus on what he needs to focus on, and he will achieve what he's trying to achieve. 
when everything is in time, right? So, that's what I have to say about Big Baby Jerry Mill, you know, Big Jerry Anderson, I keep saying Mill. That's what I have to say about Big Baby Jerry Anderson. Um, and at some points in the fight, he looked pretty good, and then at other points in the fight, he looked pretty like I said, I think that he has to have more experience and he'd be better. On another topic, um, I watched the Boost Ennis fight uh, with Villa. And Boost Ennis is definitely the next. He's the next. He's on He's on, He's on. on the next. He's, he's, he's coming up next. He's the next big, welterweight big dog, you know. He's the one that's gonna be holding it down, I believe, in the very near future. For the Bucks with division. Once Earl and then move on up, Terrence Crawford gonna move up too. I don't see Terrence Crawford fighting Boots in his I don't see him fighting him. If he stays in the game, he probably move to one for the boat. But a person like Terrence Crawford could stay down there and fight Boots, but uh, to be honest with you, I don't see him. I don't see Terrence Crawford beating. I don't think. Uh, it looks like to me, Boots is the real deal. He might have had a bad outing against Karen because Karen was choosing not to engage with um, with Boots in that fight he had um, just a couple fights ago. We include the one he just had with Villa. Um, but. Villa made, Villa, Villa had legs, Villa, Villa was in the shape of his life, because he, he stayed on his, on his bicycle the whole fight, you know, that's hard to do, that's, that's hard to do, you know, I don't know if you've been in the ring before, but it's hard to stay on your bike, the whole fight, and fight at the same time, but he was more conscious of his, in, you know, his uh, defense, he was more conscious of not getting hit by boots, he was more conscious of not letting boots get into a rhythm, and he, and he kept Boots off rhythm, you know, to the point he got Boots frustrated. Boots even threw some uh, punches out of frustration because he was trying to catch this dude, trying to hit this dude. But dude wouldn't, wouldn't sit down for him, wouldn't sit still. He would not, you know, he would not engage when he, he, only when he wanted to engage. And Boots probably learned a lot from that fight. You know, he needed to learn how to come from any better. You know, I would say that he fought Karen. Uh, people like Karen to make anybody look. But again, the fight with Villa, um, I felt that fight was a very, very strong fight for Boots. Boots did impress me with the stoppage, because he stopped a man never been stopped before. And uh, although everything ain't being equal, because you know Boots have way more speed than Villa. He had way seemed like more power than Villa. And uh, not that Villa didn't have no powers, he had power. Just that Villa couldn't hit him. He can't hit, but he can't see. He can't hit. He can't land on him. He did catch Boots with a couple of shots. He catch Boots here and there a couple of shots. And Boots ate that. He didn't ate them shots well, man. And um, if anything, Boots, the dog and Boots came back and started blazing Villa up. You know what I'm saying? And the fight really took a turn for the worst for Villa in the second and third round. And as the fights were going, were gradually going on, Villa seen that he was behind, and he started trying to pick up the pace, and he started trying to, you know, make more contact with the uh, boots. And boots defense was just on point, you know. You gotta, you can't knock him in defense on point. And uh, boots did his thing, man. I gotta give it up to him. Boots did his thing. He did his thing. Took care of that business. You know, he got dude out of there in the 10th round. You know what I'm saying? He said he's going to stop him. Boots kept his words, and he stopped this man. So you got to respect Boots for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, you know, this is uh, this dude Taylor made for Boots. He's a come forward fighter. Really no defense. No head movement, really. And, uh, man. 
like how the Wicked would do. And that would stop this man. But everybody else thought it was some gold. The whole 12. No, I knew it was eventually stopped this man. They should have stopped the fight. I'll say uh, three rounds before that. Because Moose is really beaming him up. You know what I'm saying? Banging him. Slitting, who's slitting so many punches on him without no punches coming back, but if I get hit, yeah, you know, it, 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 it just seemed like really unfair advantage, you know what I'm saying? So, again, uh, that was definitely an enjoyable fight, it was entertaining, most took care of business, and he knocked out, you know, he is next in the world's weight division. He'll be the king, I believe. Now, shifting my thoughts, um, I seen All Access last night, and uh, All Access, I gotta admit, you know, um, you know it, I enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying, I enjoyed the All Access, they show clips of things that we've already seen, or we believe everybody didn't see, but um, for the most part, I like how both of the fighters looking, they look like they're both ready to get down. Uh, they both look focused. Um, there's a lot of respect going on between the two of these people, two of these fighters, Earls and uh, uh, Crawford. And this, this, all this speaks of a, a very good fight that's going to happen. Very good fight that's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's what I see. I see this being a very good fight in the making. Excited! I think all, all access. The next one's gonna be even better. I uh, hope the guys are talking more shit to us another and make it a little more spicier. But other than that, I have to say I enjoyed watching all access. I think that they're on point. You know, uh, they're promoting this fight, and I think this fight is gonna do big numbers. So I look forward to the next weekend of all access with the uh, Crawford versus Spence. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely, uh, it's, it's definitely entertaining watching the build up. You know, it's getting exciting, getting closer and closer to the fight thing. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I can't really find too much negative to say about nothing. I don't look to find anything negative anyway, but, um, I want to say, I do love how Spence got the Dallas Cowboy franchise on his team. You know, all of them got number of love and respect for Spence. And um, I'd like to see the camaraderie, the camaraderie, camaraderie, camaraderie over there with Spence and the um, Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Jerry Jones is definitely a smart businessman. He knows the talent when you see it. should have had that fight. I felt they should have had that fight in Dallas personally. Like that way bigger fight. But uh we'll have to catch the next one and the next one we'll catch it. Dallas. But other than that, this is your boy New Money. That's my two cents I had to say in the video. So subscribe, like the, like the channel, and leave a comment on what you think about the information I just said about your boy Jared Big Baby Anderson. Also, in the comments about Boots, if you think he's next. And what you think about the All Access? Spence versus Crawford. Holler at your boy, New Money. 